Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel in this series where we learn how to play chess. Once again, if you have any tips for me or if you want to let me know anything that I did wrong, please do so in the comments below. It does help me get better at chess, so let's get started in the first match. Now, previous video we started playing 10 minute games, this one we're going to do so as well. Let me know in the comments below guys if you prefer to see 10 minute games or 5 minute games. Um, I did see in the previous video that playing 10 minute matches does give me time to think more, better develop my pieces, even though I just made a mistake, I should have gone here. But it is what it is. Uh, we can definitely do that now. Or should I develop my knife first? <clears throat> I think I want to take all full control of the center. And then we can go ahead with the knight. And we're also targeting this. Yeah, actually, I think that was a good play. Because if takes, I can just take with the knight. And we're threading this after taking here. So quite a few things we can do. Um, if I go here with my knight, he's probably going to go there. And I don't want to have pawns here and here. Uh... Thing is that if i take he can check i don't want to do another pawn move i want to develop at least one of my pieces which i can develop my bishop actually let's take here if he checks i can put my bishop here if he takes i can just take with my uh knight because if he takes with the bishop here i want to take with my queen okay that's awesome we can also just go ahead and do this completely target that but before we do that I think I want to make a new pawn move because if he takes here, I'm taking with my queen and then I'm just going to, yeah. All right. I think, yeah, this is here. If he takes, I 100% have to take because even if he takes, this is being targeted. I mean, this is being targeted, but I can still just take and take. So I think we should be fine there. Um, that was expected. I don't want to bring this back. Um, I can't castle because I'm in check, so yeah, I have to just put my knight here. If takes, I do have to take once again. Um, I can also give him a nice little check, but he can just move here, exactly. I uh, would go ahead and check. So then we're able to move our knight without having to trade and ruin our pawn structure, and then we can push this out. Yeah, I think I want to move this here, even though it's stopping the protection here. Okay, interesting. I think I can go here, because if takes... I can take, he cannot take with this because I would take his queen and obviously he cannot take with the queen because I would take with the bishop. However, this knight is pretty annoying. So should I just move, should I just move my knight here? Is that even like a thing? Uh, still, I can still take with this, but then it'll ruin this pawn structure. Okay, I'm taking too long to think this bishop's gotta go. If takes, I'll just trade and then I can put my rook here and target that. Think that's decent and he did not do it awesome okay yeah, i think definitely we could go for oh no because he can take now um if we go here he takes i take if he takes i take but i can take this and win that so yes this is the right plate and even if he goes there i can just take And if he takes here, I doubt he will because I can just take. Oh, but he takes there. Awesome. Um, do I take with this? If takes, I take. He's probably going to move this. But then I can just take here. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Take. If takes, I will take with this. Ah, but he can take here first. I would have to take and then take. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a bad play. But oh, thankfully, he didn't do it. Now, if he moves this, this is basically free. And I am targeting it as well. So, I think we're able to win a piece here. I think we made the right moves. I am not 100% sure. So, don't quote me on that. But, yeah. Unless he goes here. But then I can just take. And then if he takes, I can take again. So, yeah, I think we should be up a piece. <clears throat> Unless he does that, but then I can still just, ah, if I take, he takes, and then if I take, he's just going to move that there. That was actually a pretty nice play by him. Um, if I take here first, he's going to go here, and then I can target that. And then if he moves and I move this, he can target this, so it's not really a good play. So I think we have to take here first. Unfortunately, our plan did not work as expected. Um, but we can definitely... 
Uh, we can we're not gonna go back there. We can go here and the knight will be in a pretty active square. However, he can go here after um, We can go here Actually, yeah, I think That is the better play We're targeting both of these. He's all probably gonna go there and then I would just have to move it back. So yeah awful play actually I gotta be careful with this Okay, this guy's playing nice but I can take once he takes I can take and then if he tries to protect it I can just oh I cannot move my rook all right but he made a mistake for sure that, that's got to be a mistake or is it because if I take here he can go here and then how do I protect this I just cannot but I can go here and then if he goes here I'm pretty much risking both of my knights. However, I can go down here. Oh man, this is not good at all. I can go here and threaten that. Um, I can go here and take... Wait, so if I go here and he takes, I take with the check, he can just take back with this. And if I take here, both of my knights are being threatened. And if I go here, he can just threaten my knight. And now we'll have to move over. Let's say take this. He can just take. The problem is that if I go here, he's going to be threatening both of the knights because I cannot move anything here. So let's do this. Yeah, once he does that, I'm going to target his bishop and then I can move my, my rook here. Ah, my young friend just made a mistake. That 100% has to be a mistake because I can just check him here. 100% that was a mistake cool so how can we completely exterminate this guy let's get this out of the way and then we go here even though he can go there if I take well he takes but I will take back and then if he goes there uh-huh I can even just go here and block his his rook because he cannot take me the thing is that he can go here and then once I move this he can just take and if I go here, my knight is pretty much stuck. And if I go here, he can just put that there. So I think this is the better play. He cannot take. And if he goes there, we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> this, this bishop is killing me there. And I'm wasting so much time. I'm just toggling and blah, 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 blah. Ay, ay, ay. All right. So I can move. I can move this. Yes, I can do that. I can also go here. Yes, those are things that I can do. I cannot go there. I can take this, but then he'll take that. Um, I don't want to lose the, the knight for some reason. I can put it here, and I can put it here. Let's just go here. If he threatens it, um, we can always just go here. And we also got to push this and we have to move this. Yes. Yes. All right. We should be able to win it. We should be able to win this. Right. Okay. Now, do I go here? Do I go back here? If I go here. Um, actually, if I go here and he goes here, I can move this back. It takes takes. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, I'm also, I'm willing to trade two, two knights for a rook, and then I'll be up two rooks versus a rook and a bishop. I think that's winning. I'm not 100% sure, though. Not a, but he can, however, push this down. And if I go here, he can go there. Once I take, he takes, and then I take a pawn. Uh, no, man, I'm not. This isn't a draw. There's no way this is a draw. I for sure can find a winning position here. <clears throat> the only way I think he has a chance of Yeah, I think this is the time where you trade the rooks or you move this here To protect that It's away from the bishop 
and my opponent wins he resigns so there you go guys uh please let me know in the com wow we only had one blunder and two mistakes that's not that bad so yeah guys let me know in the in the comments below if you prefer 10 minute matches or uh three five minute matches for the video what do you find most entertaining and i'll be sure to do that nonetheless i can definitely think more um in this playing style uh, however i think my opponent made a lot of mistakes that's why i managed to win but it is what it is so there you go guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like consider subscribing and i'll see you on the next one